Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. And I am going to start this video by calling these exotic gauntlets the insurance policy. Now, you guys will understand what I mean as I explain what these exotic gauntlets do, but we are going to be discussing the Chitons Ramparts exotic gauntlets that just came out in the Season of the Worthy. Now, these are Titan exotic gauntlets, and at first glance, I looked at them before I even got them, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, I was really, really skeptical about how they would perform, especially considering the Season of the Worthy barricade nerf that came to Titan barricades. Now, just to test them a little bit, because I didn't want to rush this video out, I've actually been using them pretty extensively in the Crucible and in PvE today, and I've noticed some pretty substantial usage for these gauntlets. I didn't think they would be super helpful, and personally, a lot of the times I like to use exotics that have passive abilities, not something that I have to specifically activate. Now keep in mind, there's not a lot of activated exotics in Destiny. A lot of them are passive, but I think that these ones have the potential to stick around for a little bit. So how do you actually get these exotic gauntlets? In fact, how do you get any of the new exotic armor pieces in Season of the Worthy? Well, I would hate to be the first to break it to you, but unfortunately, all of these exotics are RNG drops, unlike back in Season 8. If you guys remember, those actually came from a quest line. But if I was to recommend you one way of actually obtaining these brand new exotics in Season of the Worthy, I would highly 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 recommend as much as some of you might hate it go into the crucible and grind out crucible matches it is the fastest way that i have personally noticed to actually get these exotics every time a new season rolls around i just jump into a game of rumble or something like that and the benefit of doing that is that those games are shorter instead of going and doing a vanguard strike which might take you 15 to 20 minutes you can do a singular rumble match control match clash match that takes 5 to 10 minutes max so if you guys are so lucky to obtain Chitons Ramparts, you will get the intrinsic perk on these gauntlets called Assault Barricade. This intrinsic perk states you and your allies can shoot through your towering barricade, which has reduced health and duration. Now, upon first glance, like I said, these gauntlets looked really, really unappealing to me. It just took some use, to be honest. After I used them for the first couple of Crucible matches, I immediately started to see how these gauntlets could actually be used in things like trials or comps. There's not much of a skill gap associated with them, but there is a lot of versatility in how you can accomplish making a play with them. Now, some hypothetical scenarios I've made up in my head would be if you're playing control and you need to cap a point, something on like Citadel where you have to take B out of the middle of the map. There's only two entrances to the B flag on Citadel. You could just pop a barricade up and watch the enemies run up from their spawn and snipe them through your barricade. And another scenario I came up with, and this might be more applicable to trials or comps, is if somebody is lane sniping and you know that they've been running to that same location to lane every single round, which you can hypothetically do is pop up a barricade on like the edge of a wall or something and actually get one free peek. Now, what I mean by one free peek is that if they do shoot your barricade because of the Titan barricade nerfs and because of Chitons Ramparts actually lowering your shield's health and duration down, they should be able to one shot your barricade with a sniper and it did happen to me earlier today. My barricade was taken down with one shotgun shell. However, what it does do is it is essentially your insurance policy. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you can pop it up and be completely safe so long as you peek quick and you have that intel to give back to your team. Another situation would be if you actually pop up your barricade and you're fast enough to react, you could actually counter snipe that guy who's been laning your team the whole game. Like I said, those are incredibly hypothetical situations situations. However, it is entirely possible to achieve those. It just takes some knowing of these exotics, when and when not to use them. And again, another thing to take into consideration is that your barricade is extremely weak. One grenade will take it out, one sniper shot will take it out, one shotgun shell, one fusion bolt, all of it. But anyways, guys, that is about it for these exotic gauntlets. There's not much to them. They are really cool, and I do see there being some actual competitive use. As far as PvE goes, it's, you know, Titan Barricade. 
I don't see why you would use this in PvE, but I'm sure they wouldn't be bad if you use them in PvE either. They're pretty versatile. You can use them really wherever you want. There's no limit to them because they're just a thing. They do a thing. But before I end the video, guys, I would like to do one last shout out. Be sure to go and check out my Twitch. I should be streaming later tonight after this video goes out, and I would love to see you all there. I stream pretty frequently and my Twitch streams have been doing really well. And another thing I wanted to say is if you are new to my channel, I welcome you with open arms and I thank you for stopping by my channel. The comments and all of the support lately have been incredible and I really, really appreciate you guys. I want you to know that. And lastly, be sure to drop a like or a sub if you guys did enjoy the video. I appreciate it a ton. Comment if you have these exotics. Let me know what you think about them. Maybe you've found more uses in different places than I have. They're brand new, so we'll always be finding new ways to use these exotics. But that is going to be it for me today, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.